Vita dhidi ya uhalifu vimepata nguvu mpya baada ya Rais Kenyatta kuzindua maabara hiyo ya kitaifa kuchunguza visa vya uhalifu. Mwandishi wetu Hassan Mugambi anatupa taswira kamili ya kipekee ndani ya maabara hiyo ya idara ya DCI. Maabara ya kitaifa ya DCI itakayotumika na wapelelezi ni ya kipekee katika ukanda wa Afrika Mashariki na Kati na inatarajiwa kutumia sayansi katika kuwatambua na kuwakamata wahalifu katika nyanja tofauti. Mkurugenzi wa huduma za sayansi katika idara ya upelelezi Joseph Mugwanja anasema kuwa maabara hii imesaidia kupunguza gharama ya kusafirisha sampuli ughaibuni kufanyiwa utafiti. In particular when we used to have cases of uh sexual offenses some manda cases we could take samples to south africa uk and other countries but going forward we are going now we have the capacity to at least carry out all necessary forensic analysis of all the exhibits which are found at a scene of crime Maabara hii ina vitengo kumi vinavyotumika kwa utafiti wa kisayansi katika nyanja mbali mbali kuwatambua na kuwakamata wahalifu. Utafiti wa kisayansi umetumika pakubwa katika kuhakikisha kwamba visa vya uhalifu vinasuluhishwa na wahalifu wanasukumwa wa korokoroni. Wakati ambapo bunduki imetumika katika kutekeleza uhalifu kokote humu nchini, utafiti wa ballistics hufanyika. Lakini je, utafiti huu unafanyika vipi? Tunapata fursa ya kipekee katika kitengo cha ukaguzi wa silaha na hapa tunapata wapelelezi wakikagua risasi hii iliyofikishwa kama ushahidi baada ya kupatikana katika mwili wa mwathiriwa mmoja huko Baringo. Tayari teknolojia hii imethibitisha kuwa bunduki aliyopatikana nayo mshukiwa katika kesi hiyo ndio iliyotumika kwa mauaji. Every firearm has a story to tell and the story to tell is in the outside of the firearm and in the inside of the firearm mm -hmm. in the outside of the firearm you will have the serial number in the inside of the firearm it has unique characteristics which it imparts to those ammunition component it fires and these unique characteristics are microscopic in nature Kitengo kingine katika maabara hii ya kitaifa ni kile cha kemia na ni hapa ambapo wapelelezi hudadisi sampuli zilizowasilishwa kubaini kunani. When we dealing with cases like uh, a homicide or rape cases there is that always contact between the victim and the perpetrator. So you find out that there is always exchange of fiber. So what normally happens when you get to a crime scene you get a fiber you collect it Maybe if you have a suspect you can uh, also get a fiber from there. For example if you get a fiber is blue, another one is blue, you cannot just conclude that because it is blue and I've found you with the blue so you are the perpetrator. This fiber the dyes might be blue but uh, uh, the, the, the components are different. Kisha tunaelekea katika kitengo cha biolojia na ni hapa ambapo visa kadhaa vya ubakaji vimetatuliwa. Utafiti wa kiteknolojia wa mfumbojeni au DNA utafanyika papa hapa tofauti na hali ilivyokuwa hapo awali so that when the investigators are carrying out their processes during the investigations they are able to exactly either link or exonerate a person from a particular crime scene kitengo kingine ni cha kutambua alama za vidole na hiki ndicho kitengo chenye kazi nyingi sana katika maabara haya um, uh, fingerprints from various police stations and applications of police clearance certificate from all over the country huduma centers and beyond they are brought to this section japo ni maabara yenye uwezo wa kukabiliana na uhalifu wajuzi wa mambo wanasema kuwa ni jukumu la serikali sasa kuhakikisha kuwa maabara yenyewe inafadhiliwa vya kutosha ili kukabiliana na wahalifu wanaozidi kukumbatia mbinu za kisasa kila uchao hasan mugambi citizen nipashe